Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Rabbit Motorworks. Today we're going to do some more work on the 63 Bug. And we're going to take and tackle that dirty carburetor and do a rebuild of it. So let's work on getting that thing off the car and hope you enjoy the episode. Okay, so we'll start by taking off some of the fuel lines here. Get that out of the way. And the vacuum advance for the carb. I think I'm going to take the rotor off as well. Cap. This feels really gummy. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ooh, and all kinds of brown fuel coming out the side of the accelerator pump so that's not good okay so we got it off and uh, it looks pretty grimy inside there so can't wait to get this thing cleaned up I'm sure things are gonna start and run a lot better now we got the carburetor off we're gonna do some cleanup of this thing man is this thing dirty I didn't realize how bad it was until I actually got it on the bench and started looking at it but you can see it's seeping in a couple of places um, one of the washers broke off even when I was taken out of the car but um, yeah it's pretty bad so I bought a carb rebuild kit which is cool I've also got some simple green full strength and I'm gonna mix up a batch of that and put it with some boiling water into this um, container. That's going to be our uh, cleaning. Uh, we're going to basically soak everything. But first we need to basically take it down and uh, get those parts uh, ready to put in the cleaner. So, there is a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So there's a tag, for one. Probably says something once we clean it up. Feel that tension on that, but set that over there. That's gunky. Okay, there's the top. at the crap in the bottom of that. It's, there's our float. Oof. Look at all of this junk. Oh, it smells it dirty. Yeah, it does smell dirty, doesn't it? What is that crud? Yuck. That's why we're rebuilding it, that's for sure. Oh, we're not going to clean it right now. We're going to first get it apart. First we get it apart. Then we're gonna treat it. And then we're gonna treat clean it, that's right. Okay, so that's the bowl, that's really bad. So that's not uh very clean at all. So okay, let's keep some space here. Okay. So So 
So there's one thing I noticed is the stud didn't come undone with the nuts. So we'll work on getting that apart with the well, vise. Well, that broken. Yeah, they're broke. That's right. It must be stuck in there. Even these are yucky. Yeah, it is. Okay. This one. That. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Okay, so let's keep taking stuff apart here. So, that's an interesting piece from the butterfly there. It already feels kind of like it's sticking a little bit. So that's not good. That's probably where I was like running the car and the choke had stuck and I can feel it st sticking. Okay, whoa. Look at this. Boy, is that crispy. Holy smokes. That just looks really, really disgusting. Yeah. Everybody see that? Yeah. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay, and look at that spring and what is all this junk in here too yuck dang another yuck no yeah. so yeah it just keeps getting worse and worse <laughs> it's a pretty good disassembly to get layer of filth off and boy oh boy that's a layer of filth okay now's the time to mix and go heat some water up on the stove okay so now there is half a gallon of that left that actually smells good right here. Yeah. That it does, doesn't it? Okay, so now this is ready to go into here. But oh, now we need some boiling water. Boy. And we'll have to wait until it comes off the stove. Okay, so we got our hot boiling water here. I'll stick off the base gasket. Put the float over here with that. So now let's kind of mix this stuff up. So we'll put our 50 50 in here. So that's the simple grain. Now we need our boiling water. So. And that's pretty good. So that's the boiling water. Okay. So there we go. We're going to let this. Soak, cook for three hours. Three hours? That's until it's gone. You can get the gunk off. How much more of the day? It's three hours of the day. Okay, so 40 minutes in, not even a full hour yet. This thing is already starting to get really dark and black. And you can see, it's got a lot of heat coming out of this as well, too. So that, um, it's definitely starting to loosen all that sludgy stuff as it's getting like a oil film across the top of the bucket. So we'll check back. Okay guys, it's been three hours. The bucket of dirty simple green is cool. What we're gonna do is uh, drain it down. Oh, here we go. So, well, we got a little bit of scrubbing to do, but it's definitely taking a fair share of stuff off. What I'm going to do. Is. 
get some more loosening to do. So by no means is this something where you're just letting it soak and you're done. It's more like scrubbing and cleaning, but it does come up. I just found a dirty steel, but it's not dirty. I, mean, I don't know. It's still pretty dirty if you ask me. Well, it's There's, coming off. It is coming off. You're right. That's the cool thing about letting it soak. Is it's definitely... Loosened everything up, right? Sometimes it always gets dirtier and it gets changed. Yeah. The cool thing is... Is just like when you go to the dentist. What? What do they do with the toothbrush? Brush your teeth. Yeah, they brush your teeth. Except, what are we brushing? Carburetor. Yeah, we're brushing the carburetor. And the carburetor has definitely not been to the dentist in a while. Boy, but look at that one. Whoa. I did not think have to see yeah, that. I see some clean stuff under there. Boy, does that clean up nice when you polish it out, huh? Yeah, that is nice because, you see that words? You see right there? Yeah. They can actually, you can see them better when you're actually cleaning it up. Yeah. First I saw it, but it was kind of dirty. The words. Yep. That almost seems what's the right the shiny new carburetor. It's a new one. Almost. Yeah. Maybe it's in the woods right that one. I hope so. Well, the great thing about working with this uh, simple green, though, it is. It just doesn't smell that. Bad. But there are different cleaners for different jobs.
Okay, so we're getting the remaining We're getting the remaining smaller pieces out It's amazing how much grime has come off of this carburetor and uh, we're continuing to keep cleaning it, Junior and I here, so. Okay, so we're done cleaning things and boy, do things look way better than they used to. Way. Way. So the other thing is, is that we've just blown everything off with air as well too. So now it will be time for reassembly. Ta-da, with all these good parts. So, let's get at it. Okay guys, let's um, get to uh, reassembling this. I put a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, butterfly valves too, just to get them to move a little more freely. Um, pretty much got all the parts laid out. This is our kit, so let's crack into that. And there are more than enough extra parts here. So lots of precision. For reassembly. That's on. Now oh, it's our one washer post. And following washer. Together with our cotter pin. We'll see if the new one fits. It does. So bend this over. Well, that's definitely not going to do anything. There we go. 
Cool. That's good action. What's next? Um, I would think that this thing could go in. And the question is, is do I use a new one of these washers? Or do I use the existing one? I'm curious about these. It's actually not a, it's a brass washer for that, but. That's fiber there, and uh, this one was fiber. It's a different OD. Hmm. That does not fit. Well, I think the intent here is to seal. Definitely in. Fourteen again. Okay. That's good. Uh, this goes back in here. Jet. Goes back in here. Okay. This goes back. It's like that. Two 
basic asset. Building carburetors, how much fun! I think that's where our uh, tag went. This thing clean now. And I mean, just like that, this thing is almost back together. So. I can't wait to see what this thing's gonna be like when we get it back in the car. Choke looks like it's working nicely. Not sticking. Okay. Last piece is the choke. Okay. So I went back and got the right setting for that this thing is a little loose but it's still connected right there so i'm not going to mess with it as long as it's got a contact and a signal i'm cool um this is the base gasket a little thinner than the old base gasket but a gasket's a gasket so let's hope it seals okay and i still need to find another wave washer which we'll have to figure out and that's it the Solex 28 pick is back together and all cleaned up, people. How cool is that? That is one heck of a job, but I'm glad I did it because it was definitely in need. So let's get this back on the car. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the carb rebuild. Quite the dirty, filthy carburetor. I'm surprised the car actually ran, to be honest. So I'm really, really uh, excited to see how that turns out when I get it back on the car. Uh, expecting a big increase in performance. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe below. I hope you enjoyed today's video and stay up on your post notifications for more content. Peace.